Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now I'm back with some Ego Rumor Mill, ERM. It's been a minute since I had a rumor mill. A lot of stuff going on in boxing. 2017 has been a good year. Now, this is filed on the Ego Rumor Mill because there's no official numbers. However, as you've seen in the title, they are saying that the numbers for Canelo Chavez Jr. Fantastico! I was born ready! Is over 1 million pay-per-view buys. So I want to talk about this. I will do an updated video when the actual exact number, like 1.1 or just cracking 1 million or 1.4 whatever it is once the, the official flat number that they land on is tallied up I'll do an updated video but we'll run with the industry rumor 1 million over 1 million right I think that's great exceptional um, off the top of my head I don't remember the last pay-per-view from anybody in boxing and I'm not talking about overseas, because that's just a different demographic. Like the Anthony Joshua Klitschko that did like 1.5 Sky Sports. I don't know what their pricing is and all that. I'm talking about U.S. pay-per-views for boxing. I know Conor McGregor has some million-plus uh, pay-per-views in the UFC. But as far as boxing, I don't remember the last one to do those type of numbers. Pacquiao Vargas did 300,000 and change. Golovkin tanked on both of his. Lemieux and the Daddy Jacobs both did under 200 thou. Canelo versus Khan, Liam Smith, those varied. Um, Mayweather Berto, 450 to 550,000, somewhere in there. The closest that I can remember was Canelo versus Miguel Cotto, and that did 900,000 roughly. 900,000 buys, 900,000 homes, so just under a million. This cracked over a million. So, shout out to Golden Boy for doing that, you know what I mean? It's in the climate and the landscape of boxing with streaming, it's harder because it has to be a fight that everybody can kind of relate to, people have wanted to see, and this was supposed to be that. Now, I gotta talk about this. I'm, I'm happy that it did good numbers. The only downside is, you guys know me on my channel, I'll keep it real, keep it a buck with you. This, to me, wasn't the best fight to have that many eyes on it like th if this was klitschko joshua and in the states it did a it was a pay-per-view hypothetically and it did over a million i'd be ecstatic because that was a brilliant fight from both parties competitive drama action suspense dramatic climatic climactic ending with a knockout both guys showed massive heart I can't say that for Canelo versus Chavez Jr., right? We had one guy working, and this looked like, you know how they say a glorified sparring session? This was worse than that. You know what I mean? You had a guy who was completely flat. You know when you shake soda up, the soda bottles, and then you try to drink it and there's no bubbles? That was Chavez Jr.'s performance versus Canelo. So, the thing... Like I said, I to me, I'm just being honest. And before people go out and say, oh, you're hating, you're hating Ego, because that's that's the stunt, you guys. I, I give my opinion. I have no reason to hate on these guys. But the reason I'm saying this, and before people start saying, oh, you're hating, you're just hating, you tell me what you liked about the fight, right? Canelo looks spectacular, but it was a one-sided beatdown. To me, the card, I wasn't, I expected more. I thought the Jojo Diaz fight would be a, be more competitive and the main event was billed as the civil war like you know what i mean so it's not really my it was hyped up it was built up this was supposed to be i mean hbo produced a series talking about mexican heritage this was cinco de mayo weekend i mean this is not my fault if it didn't deliver this was called chavez jr canelo the civil war this wasn't a civil war this wasn't even a civil suit <laughs> a civil lawsuit this was not any kind this wasn't even a thumb war you know what i mean so i mean i was disappointed most people were and again before people say oh you're just hating 
the WBC president, which obviously Canelo is not really feeling the WBC right now, but he just said that that fight was a complete disappointment, right? He was in Mexico and he said boxing, the sport of boxing was the real loser in the Canelo versus Chavez Jr. fight. So you can't say I'm hating. And he has comes from Mexican heritage, the Suleiman family. He's close with Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. And he just said it's very unfortunate what happened. We all expected, had great expectations and great and a great illusion to see an epic fight. And we know that wasn't the case. He said for there to be a fight, there has to be two fighters fighting. And they did not have two fighters fighting. There was only Canelo. Because Chavez was neither physically or nor mentally in the ring. And yes, boxing lost. So... Chavez Jr. later went on to say to ESPN Deportes that he took a risk and he left it on the scale and he just, he, he did too much. And you know, you know what I mean? Making the weight was it. So, I mean, I'm not here to break down um, Canelo's performance. Canelo did what he was supposed to do. He, he advances, you know what I mean? Just like, just like a tournament of basketball playoffs. Either you're in the finals or you're not, you know what I mean? And Chavez is not in the finals. He could have got the Golovkin fight. Tom Loeffler said that had he knocked out Canelo, beat beat Canelo, they would have made the, the fight with Chavez and Canelo like they wanted to a couple years ago. So Canelo advances. He's fighting Golovkin in September, and we'll see what happens. But to me, it's I like the fact that it did over a million. It shows you that there's strength in the boxing community. But to me, this was not the, the right fight to have all eyes on me. You know what I mean? And have everyone watching because it just didn't deliver. And it's funny because you hear all the people when Mayweather Pacquiao happened because the guy that they didn't want to win one and won in that fashion, they said it ruined boxing. But I don't see those same reporters, channels, writers, commenters, critics. I don't see them saying the same thing. And this by far was a worse fight than Mayweather Pacquiao by far. Again, Canelo did exceptional, but he was met with no resistance. You know what I mean? None at all. Chavez wasn't even throwing punches. You know what I mean? You look at his punch count. And he definitely wasn't landing. Canelo has a good defense, though. Pacquiao, I don't believe the, the whole shoulder injury stuff. But yet and still, no matter what was going on with his shoulder, if that's true or not, he was throwing punches. He clipped Mayweather at the, at the fourth round. And I think in the sixth or seventh round also, he was trying, you know what I mean? He just couldn't effectively close the distance for large chunks of the fight, right? So that's the only downside to me. But the bright side is this. If this fight, some people thought Chavez didn't even deserve the fight based on his bad performances and lack of discipline and stuff. But they are just like, okay, it's Cinco de Mayo weekend. This, this could be epic, right? Canelo's never faced someone so big. This this gives light to Canelo Golovkin. Because if this is doing over a million, Canelo Golovkin definitely would do over a million in my book. And that's that's the that's the the thing we can draw from this. And the good thing is we have a pulse from boxing fans, even though they feel probably slighted that they paid $70 for that. We have something to look forward to in September. So I'm looking forward to that. I just really wish a fight like um, Klitschko Joshua, I wish that was the US pay-per-view that did so well, or even Canelo Golovkin. And I, I have no doubts in my mind that that can crack over a million easily because that's a fight where one guy's once beaten, the other guy's undefeated, and people have been wanting to see it for at least a year and a half, two years, right? And the styles make fights. We've never seen ever I don't care if you're the biggest Golovkin hater, we have never seen Golovkin deliver a performance like Chavez Jr. just did versus Canelo. Never. Never once. You could say, oh, Kell Brook exposed him, Danny Jacobs. No matter what you said, there's never been a Golovkin fight since he's come to America and made a name for himself where he looked like Chavez Jr., where some people thought it was... Chavez Jr.'s performance was so bad, some people believe it's fixed. You know what I mean? Name a Golovkin fight where you really thought it was fixed. You know what I mean? And fixed on behalf of Golovkin. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't even trying. 
So I'm glad it did over a million, if that is the, in fact the the true number, which I, I believe a fight like this, it, it was it was properly built up. HBO they got the buy-in from HBO, so they did some specials. I thought the face-off was excellent, but just like the WBC Prez Suleiman is saying, it's just disappointing for boxing, and it's almost it's almost a godsend that that Canelo versus Golovkin was made and announce right then and there because let's say this was just hypothetically canelo did that performance versus chavez jr and then that was it and then canelo and golovkin couldn't come to terms that would be really bad that would be extremely bad because we wouldn't have anything to look forward to we would just be like damn that really you know what i mean some people don't want to see canelo versus david lemieux a guy that golovkin beat so the blessing is the fact that they were able to get that fight done because if it was just if we didn't know about it and we just had to deal with that pay seventy dollars and watch that and just deal with it then it, it would have been it would have been worse but the fact that they did the little wwe entrance at the end and golovkin that actually to me that was the most action in the whole main event is the conclusion with Golovkin. I was more juiced seeing Golovkin and Canelo next to, to each other and Canelo talk a little bit of smack. He was like, I don't need luck. Golovkin, where are you? You are next, my friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? That that was better than anything in the fight. And I'm not taking anything away from Canelo, but I would have liked to see Chavez Jr. go for broke a bit more, right? Canelo is a great fighter, but you got to even look at it. I was talking to my writer about this. Canelo admitted... This is how bad it is. After the fight, Canelo admitted that he was gassed and he ran out of energy and was extremely tired in round five or six. But Chavez Jr., since he was doing no work, didn't even notice that. You know what I mean? He wasn't throwing, he wasn't active enough. So he didn't even realize that. Canelo moving up 10 and a half pounds, which would, if you listen to the video I said, seven reasons why it's, e it's not going to be easy work. Part of what I said is Canelo moving up 10 and a half pounds, fighting a bigger man. And clearly he admits himself that he was tired. So had Chavez Jr., I'm not saying he would have won, but had he been more active, then it could have been interesting. Had he had some type of snap on his punches, it would have been interesting because again, he he got he admits he was he was low energy and then he had to get a second win and then he was cool and he played it off well which i would expect from a fighter you know what i mean but it wouldn't i mean it doesn't benefit canelo i mean it doesn't benefit chavez jr if if chavez jr is not going to even know that because he's not throwing enough punches to know that his man is out of he did if he was working canelo in those spots then it could have got interesting but he wasn't he was too economical and too gun shy and then by that time canelo kept fighting at his pace he got his second win and he was good you know what i mean so it's it's interesting because golovkin's not a one type of person you want to get tired with so maybe it's because he was at 164.5 maybe it's because chavez jr is so big i don't know golovkin would be quite as big as whatever chavez was maybe it's because it was his first fight past 160 maybe because it was over 160 mark i don't know but Canelo's going to have to work on that because you don't want to get tired with Golovkin. You got to be on your Kevin Gates. I don't get tired. So it looks like this fight was over a million. That is great news. The only downside is I wish it was a fight that, like Kell Brook, Errol Spence. I think that'll be a good fight. I don't really see how that could mess it up. You know what I mean? I think that'll be an electrifying fight. So I would like to have seen it be a fight that generated more public interest I mean, just go look at the comments on all the videos and see what people are saying about the fight. You know, don't, don't take my word for it. But let me know what you guys think. That's a good sign for Canelo Golovkin. It can hit over a million, and that's the fight we want. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Mm -hmm.